We are with Peggy Post, one of the authors of Emily Post's Etiquette, and I want to talk to you about thank you notes. Is it okay to email thank you notes in any situation, maybe after a dinner party versus getting a gift? Right. Sometimes it is okay to email thank you notes. We'll have, let's be realistic here. Right. I, I say if it's something you pick up the phone and thank you for, thank you so much, Ali, for treating me to lunch yesterday. Oh, you're so welcome. I could, <laughs> I could email you my thank you. But do not replace a, a wedding gift, thank right. you, by the way, uh, for example, uh, with an email. That's still a custom to, in our culture to sit down and write a, a handwritten thank you note, thank you so much for a wedding gift, or uh, it's just warmer and more personal. And what about the amount of time? How long do you have from receiving a gift? As soon as possible. <laughs> but for oh, the way no. we'll use a wedding gift as an example, within three months of receiving that gift. Mm -hmm. And but I always say it's never too late, but try to get that note out within three months because then people are going to start wondering if you received a gift. Right. And you don't want to come across as a rude person and not thank right. you. So definitely send that note. Uh, another time to write a handwritten thank you note is after you've had a job interview. Now say, here's where you do a double lamp, if you will. Email a thank you, quickly get it out there. Just they, listen they know you're thankful. <laughs> yeah, but then do a handwritten note because you're really going to make an impact. You're going to make a great impression. So the rule of thumb is if you feel like it's something larger than your average moment, exactly. write a note. Exactly. Okay, great. Excellent. Well, we're with Peggy Post talking etiquette. Thanks so much. Thank you.